how to pick an industry that's actually going to be good for you. So it's a great consideration. You've got this massive choice of different industries that you can go into. We talk specifically about what you should consider if you are changing industries and if you have a transferable skill. Welcome to the Master Dealmaker's Secrets Podcast. And now, here's sales growth strategist, John Blake. Welcome to Master Dealmaker's Secrets. I'm John Blake. This is episode 195. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be counting down the top 10 episodes of Master Dealmaker's Secrets for the year. Uh, and there are some absolute cranking episodes in there. So I think you're going to get a stack out of today. Before we do that, if you've got leads that you want to convert, people that you've spoken to, you've sent them a, a proposal or a quote they haven't bought yet, I want you to head over to johnblakeaudio.com. What you'll get there is my 15-minute audio, which allows you to get my entire system. I've got seven different areas that I work on in people's sales systems. This gives you the blueprint for one of those areas, one of those places that we look, one of those leaks in the bucket. What you'll get is a 15-minute audio that walks you through the entire strategy on how you can convert more of the people that you've spoken to, that you've submitted some kind of a quote or a proposal to that they haven't bought yet. So exactly what to write in your emails, exactly what to say when you ring up, exactly what to say when you get through, exactly what to say if you get voicemail. But most importantly, number one question I get is how often to call and how often to email over a 90-day period that will allow you to maximize those sales. There is gold sitting in your CRM in the proposal sent column. So many people ignore this. With, you, with this system, I've developed it over 20 years. I've made every possible mistake that you can make when it comes to follow-up, and you will get the benefit of those mistakes and my wisdom in this system. 15-minute audio and a PDF that has the exact word-for-word -word scripts, exactly what to write in your emails, exactly what to say when you get through to someone on the phone or if you get their voicemail over a 90-day period that you can use to maximize sales. It is at johnblakeaudio.com. Okay, so we've had a, a really amazing year. I've had some fantastic people that I've interviewed. I've done a whole bunch of solo episodes as well. So we're going to count down the top 10. The one that came in in 10th place was the three biggest things to consider when changing industries. So this one was prompted by a number of people that I have worked with that have always been in the same industry and they have this fear around doing something different, selling a different product, going into a different industry. And this particular episode is perfect for you because if you've got, especially if you're in sales, if you know how to sell, if you know how to sell, sales is a transferable skill right? You can transfer the skill of sales into other industries. So this is how to pick an industry that's actually going to be good for you. So it's a great consideration. You've got this massive choice of different industries that you can go into. And so in that episode, which is 172, we talk specifically about what you should consider if you are changing industries and if you have a transferable skill, not just if you're a salesperson, but that's obviously going to be really useful for that. Uh, if you're good at anything, but if you're looking at changing industries, what are the three biggest things that you should consider when you're doing that? So that came in at number 10. Number nine was how to, how to close or, or how to plug the seven biggest revenue leaks in your business. That was episode 181. And that was a really popular episode. A lot of people have got the seven leaks that just happened to be the seven leaks that I fix when I work with people in my one-on-one -on -one programs and also in my 10-week sales mastery certification program, which I'm launching in uh, at the end of January. So if you're interested in that, you should email me. Uh, we're only accepting a small number of people and I've already got three people, three of those places already taken. So if you're interested, just email me, john at john-blake.com.au. I actually answer my emails. It goes to a real person. I don't have any automation. So email me and I'll, and I'll send you some details on that. So uh, seven biggest revenue leaks, how to plug them, episode 181. Episode 
177 was number eight, and that was how to ask better questions. So at the core of your sales success will be the quality of the questions that you ask. And almost, I would say, close to 100% of the problems that I notice in sales come down to the quality of the questions that are being asked or the quantity of the questions that are being asked. So it's not just going to help if you ask more questions, you've got to answer the right, you've got to ask the right questions. So episode 177, we talk all about that. That came in at eighth place. In seventh place was a review that I did on a book that would probably be the most influential book that I've read in the 20 years that I've been in consulting, certainly, but probably in the 35 years that I've been in sales. And it's called The Ultimate Sales Machine. It was written by the late Chet Holmes, and it is really the cornerstone of a lot of what I cover in my programs, the way I operate my business. That was episode 175 the ultimate sales machine. So we talk about the book. I, I talk specifically about the things that I have used in the book and implemented in my business. And there's a stack of things that you can learn in episode 175 that relate to the book. So that came in at seventh place. Sixth place, episode 173, when bad things happen to good salespeople. So a couple of fairly enlightening stories of some things that have gone wrong and the lessons that I have learned from them. And I think it's important that, you know, we live in this world where so many people are showing you the highlight reel of their careers, the highlight reel of their lives. And I think it's important to, to explain and talk about when, when things don't go so well rather than just airbrush everything and, and make yourself look like a legend. Because in reality, it's, the, it's when bad things that happen that we learn the most. When things are cranking, when things are going incredibly well, we learn the least. It's not until things start going pear-shaped that we start to actually learn and grow. It's where the nourishment is. So uh, that was a particularly popular episode, probably for that reason. Episode 173, that came in at sixth place. A lot of people who listen to the podcast want to know what we do over at Master Dealmaker Secrets. And effectively what we do is we work with sales professionals and business owners all over the world who are seeing massive increases in their top line sales revenue. So we help business owners and sales professionals to effectively focus on the three key drivers to growing sales revenue in your business. The first one is controlling the message that you send out into the marketplace so that potential clients see and hear and read what you do as an opportunity as opposed to your competitors. The second thing that we do is we help you to create a direct path to the 20% of your ideal clients that will deliver 80% of the revenue. So everyone knows the 80-20 rule. We help you to develop a direct path to the 20% of the people that are gonna give you 80% of your sales revenue in your business. And the third thing that we, that we allow you to do, that we create a process for, is for you to be able to double the amount of leads that you get that convert into paying clients. So if this is of interest, we do have an application only process to become involved in, in this particular program. And to, to get to there, all you need to do is, is to go to www.johnblakescall.com. So it's J-O-H-N-B-L-A-K-E-S-C-A-L-L.com. And there's a couple of questions to answer there. And then what you'll do is, is get on a, a quick conversation with me and I can find out a little bit more about what you've got going on in your business and see potentially whether what you are doing would be a fit for what we could help you with. And at that point, I can extend an invitation if it's a fit and uh, you can make the choice to come on board or not. So uh, that, that's the opportunity. That would be the next step if you're looking at how you can take things to the next level. If you're enjoying what you're hearing on the podcast, if you're getting value from it, uh, I invite you to do that and uh, I will look forward to talking to you. 
The website is www.johnblakescall.com. Talk to you soon. Episode 176 was the next most popular episode, which came in at, at fifth place, and that was a review on the book Start With No. And the best thing about this particular book is that it talks about about questions, uh, asking questions that use reverse psychology and and how we can phrase things to to get better questions by phrasing them in the negative, which is which is quite counterintuitive in terms of how salespeople operate. Uh, so that is and has been a very influential book in how I put my programs and my sales processes together for the different people that I work with. So that was that came in at fifth place. It was episode 176. The next one was a fantastic interview I did with a good friend of mine, actually just got back from the Maldives with Will on a surfing trip, uh, surfing business networking trip it was actually. Um, that came in at, at number four. That was episode 180. And we were talking about we, we, we talked was a pretty far reaching conversation about marketing in general, about emailing, about the, the different types of campaigns that you can put together about the industry in general. But Will has got some really great insights into emailing, lead generation, and and we, we there were some really good case studies that we talked about, both some that that I have uh that, that I have worked with clients on and, and certainly some that we'll work with some clients on. So that was a, a really enlightening episode, which is what came in at number four. That was episode 180. And then episode 178 was with Nikki Thomas. So Nikki ha, has been a, was a client of mine years ago and she's had an incredible journey. She came to me, I'm sure she wouldn't mind me telling you this. She came to me with a idea for a coaching business that a particularly prominent coach had told her was a bad idea. So she had this idea and she went to this, you know, quite high profile coach in in, in Australia, Australian coach and said, look, this is what I'm looking at doing. And this woman said, no, that's a bad idea. That's not going to work. And, and so she was in a situation where she was about to go back, she was about to update her CV and and look to go back into corporate, and she and and she came to one of my events, and we were we were chatting, and she and she ran this idea by me, and I went, no, you you can't you can't go back, you can't go and get a job, you have to roll this thing out, and and so I I helped her out with a with a couple of things in terms of her offer and getting some of her messaging right, and she just picked the ball up and run with it, and. And she's got a fantastic business now. She empowers people around leadership, around personal boundaries. Both she started off with females, but she also works with males now too, and has got a fantastic uh, list of success stories. People that she has helped to 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 really grow significantly by how they lead themselves and how they how they deal with other people in their lives, both in business and personally. So that was episode 178 and came in at number three. Then number two was an interview I did with Eli Wild, uh, who is someone who I have learned a number of, of things from. I have been in a couple of his programs. And, uh, and that was a fantastic conversation. We have learned from some of the same people. And that was episode 174, and that came in at number two. So that was a, a really great, a really great conversation about sales processes. We talked about NLP and uh, using NLP in the sales process, and we talked a bit about Eli's background. and And I think you'll find that was a really, really popular. He's actually got quite a high profile. He's got a Facebook group with about you know just under 10,000 people in it. So uh, yeah, that, that that's a ripper, and that one is is episode 174. If you would like to check that one out, and then coming in at number one, and uh, I will um, I actually told Trevor about this the other day was an interview that I did on on offers irresistible offers and offers that convert with Trevor Toecracker Crook. Uh, that's episode 179. So I will tag both Trevor and Eli in this episode so that. Um, people can see uh, that they featured in number one and number two place in the 
yearly Master Dealmaker Secrets wrap. Um, so, yeah, awesome. I'm going to have Trevor back if you'll come <laughs> and talk to me again on the on the podcast. Uh, so, yeah, number one was Trevor Toecracker Crook. Uh, you can find him on Facebook. But have a listen to the episode and uh, and have a listen to what we talked about. It was a lot of laughter and uh, covered a lot of really good uh, nuggets in terms of marketing and cr- the creation of offers. So um, I want to take this opportunity for thank to thank you very much for listening, and uh, I really appreciate it's it's uh, an interesting endeavor podcasting because you never really know who's listening, but I get people that approach me and say, "Oh, I listen to your podcast," and and uh, yeah, so I really appreciate everyone listening to it every week. Uh, thanks for uh, yeah, continuing to do so. And uh, it looks like I need to get more people that I need to interview on the podcast for next year. So I will endeavour to do that, given that the, the number one, two, three, and four ep- episodes the entire year were interviews with people. So I will continue to find interesting people to talk to. And I will, um, yeah, again, wanted to say thank you for, for tuning in each week. Have a fantastic break. And I will talk to you on the next podcast. Cheers. You've been listening to Master Dealmaker Secrets with John Blake. Subscribe to get more in-depth strategies and maximize your sales process with new episodes every other week. And double your inquiry to sale conversion with the lead flow you already have. Go to johnblakeaudio.com for his exclusive, free, no-fluff audio training and companion PDF guide.